In this video, we're going to look at how the Egyptians did their multiplication problems. They used a system called successive duplication. Duplication meaning re putting a number back in again. It's kind of like doubling. If you take, let's say, for example, 22 times 26. And if we take the 22 one time, we get 22. If we take it and double it, that's two times, that'd be 44. We double this one, we get four times 88. So really, four times 22 is 88. Then we get eight times, we're going to double the 88. That would make us have 176. That's eight times 22. Then 16 would be next. So we double the 176, that's 352. And the object is to get a series of the duplications that is the other factor. So can I get 26 out of these if I add them together? Well, if I add 16 and 8, that's 24, and 2 more, that's 26. So if I take these three duplications, I then have how much 26, and here's my 26, times 22 is. So we have got a 4 and a 6 is 10, and 2 is 12. And a 4 and 1 is 5, and 7 is 12, and 5 is 17, and 1, 3, and 1 is 5. So the answer to 22 times 26 is 572. It's a series of duplications. They have a second method of multiplication, too, which is called mediation and duplication. And let's look at that process right now. So let's take another problem. We're going to take 25 times 11. We're going to multiply this using the idea of mediation and duplication. And what you're doing, again, is you are doing a process called halving and doubling. Halving and doubling. We're going to take half of one number, and we're going to double the other number. We'll take half in this column. And we'll double this column. And let's see, if we take a half of 25, that's actually 12 and a half. And all they put down will be 12. They disregard remainders. We double 11, we get 22. Half of 12 is 6. Double 22 is 44. Half of 6 is 3. Double 44 is 88. Half of 3 is 1.5, and, and we disregard the remainder, so it's 1 and the remainder of 1. And we'll double 88, and we'll get 176. Now, we then take the rows in which that half was an odd number. This row, this row, and this row. And we're going to then add the double part of that. So 88 and 11 is 99. 99 and 176 is 275. And that's the answer to 25 times 11. Using the Egyptian method of mediation and duplication. And the other method we did was a method that was called successive duplications. Successive duplications. I hope that helps you with your Egyptian multiplication. And as always, have a very happy day.